hello friends welcome back to the last car for today's edition we are here to design this simple connecting rod over here mm, i think it's simple right so we're going to design this connecting rod over here so without wasting my time let's just get into it all right so after i open a new page i have to check that you are on the top view from this corner right so now you're on the top view i'm gonna draw a line from this, this uh, for any point a distance of 69 69 escape uh, c for circle radius 10 it's another circle there is radius 5 okay so we we'll rotate this line over here to let's say three. Oh, we should have copied the original line so rotate click here C to copy the original line then three then after that I'm gonna mirror this to the top to all right so now that i've gotten this offset distance of 2.5 you offset the circle outward not inward so outward all right so select this two okay this one's two so now that you're having this we're going to do some trimming over here so let's check or let's select our trim let this our boundary this has boundary enter select this portion click them out select this portion click them out so enter to do the trim again this time we're gonna enter to select anything as a boundary select here you click here you click there all right so you're having this over there so now that you have this from the center to nine point nine point seven left so you're gonna click here right i'm gonna click here then a uh, line with a distance of four point five four point five here yeah. and you close here right let's say you want the tangential of it so hold down shift right uh, left click right click to get it all right so so you can take this line out this line out fill it with radius of three select this line select that line so control okay you should j to join them together select this line the arc another line to you as well then enter to confirm then m mirror select this one then from there to there you get that all right <coughs> so trim again enter to select anything as a boundary so trim this page this portions out so now that you have this we can switch to our isometric view okay so choose from here press pull distance of 10 okay then all right so switch to view again and draw a line from center from center to this end all right so let's say yeah from that end so move you move this line to a distance of four four all right okay so hold down shift hold down middle mouse button then you rotate it free a bit all right so you move this line here from this point to a distance of five 
since the thickness is 10 you want the midpoint to be 5 all right so now that we have this we will stand here with a circle of you see after drawing the circle from this point if you having a circle i mean facing up like that so it is not the direction that you want it to want it to face i mean to our right side okay so we have to change the z direction over here so click on this then you click anywhere on the screen then you position where you want the z to be so i'll position to this direction all right so now let's see draw a circle with radius 3.5 okay then another uh, circle here then we're gonna have the stand, uh, radius 2 okay so now that we are having this we'll switch to top view from there then you select this one there's another circle in there so you select twice all right or you can select both together then you choose from mirror or mi for mirror then you select this for area to that so if you mirror the circle together hold down shift hold down middle mouse button then drag to i mean rotate you're going to have press pull over here the distance of distance of eight okay so and now you choose from the second circle as well distance of eight you see after doing the press we just i mean move forward instead of moving back all right so all that you can do here is to i mean control z then press pull again but this time instead of eight you hit negative eight all right oh sorry I should get this first pull for the bigger circle eight let's say to this side no you can drag to that end all right so press pull again to distance of eight then this side to us well let's say eight okay so let's move to conceptual to see what we are doing all right so now that we are having this okay okay i think this move to the side a little right and this also will go this direction a little I'm trying to apply the move command all right so i'm doing some little adjustment over here having this line to be double and this line as well to be okay all right so this line to be double here circle so now that i'm having this choose from here subtract you select the one that i want to maintain first you subtract this Oh, we're supposed to select this one. Subtract. Then select this one out. Select the one that you want to maintain first. Enter. Then select the one that you don't want. Enter. All right. So same thing here. Enter. Enter. All right. Let's do it again. Select this one. So enter to confirm that. Select this one. Enter to subtract. Okay. So now that you're having this change to select your union select that select that and this one as well so enter to i mean join them together okay so now i have in one body over here so we are almost done with our spark plug here so we're gonna hide this you go, you select this one and you right click on the key a mouse then hide object all right so you can delete this out 
so to the top view again offset of one we offset this one in and this one in and you're going to join you're going to delete this line as well and you join this one together with this and that all right so j on a keyboard to join them after joining then we switch back to our isometric view all right so this time we will move this one up the distance of one okay let's say distance of two will do okay let's pick from this end all right so distance of two okay so very distance you press pull this to a distance of because the thickness was eight and you offset to two remaining uh, a thickness was ten and you offset to two the remaining is eight so you're going to offset this to six all right so that it don't match with the um, exact height all right so you press pull this to ten press pull this to ten as well Okay, so we can unhide what we hide it. All right. So end of this isolation. So we're having this there. Okay. So this was what I was trying to I mean explain with the move that we did. So let's say let's change this to red. Control one for properties. Change this to. Go click again so let's see red so that you see the difference from there all right so we are done with our spark plug right we are done with our spark plug so <laughs> okay so let's change to realistic so this is what you are working with all right this and this is what i mean we are trying to do so now that we are done with our spark plug if you find this tutorial interesting kindly subscribe to this channel for more for more of this kind of tutorial which is very 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 simple as well okay so now what we can do is to change this to the top view then to copy this aside copy this as well Copy this one as well. All right. So you choose slice from here. You select this object. You select this side to that side. But this time we're gonna maintain both direct, uh, uh, both slides. All right. So then you switch to this view. You can now select this one move our course all right okay you couldn't slide this why is that happening all right okay 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 sorry we selected uh, only this one so we're supposed to select the two so slice select this and select that as well enter then you slice from there to there this time both sides all right so you turn it to this direction move you select this one and that one move backwards a little bit so we can hide isolate this oh okay then we can delete this out we don't need them again yeah okay Okay, so I'll hide them. So we are having this now. All right. So this have changed. So all that you can do is to MA for March drop. Select this and you click on that. All right. 
all right okay so we can move this inward a little bit click anywhere on the screen outside it and you can this as well click anywhere to move like that so but i'm using i mean my own dimensions to work with so and i think there is some error here right yeah there should be a true hole from that place this end to that end it shouldn't be i mean cutting like that okay so because i was using a precise dimension to i mean design this backdrop that's why i'm having that problem so if you are to design your own i mean do your calculation very very well so but i wanted you to know i mean the idea of doing this back plug all right and sorry the spark plus back plug connect uh, connecting rod all right okay so um now that we are done with our connecting rod okay we are done thanks for watching to this to this end i mean i appreciate that so kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that all right so kindly do it be sincere all right. <laughs> we see you in our next tutorial bye bye